Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you a short video on me redoing an antique cabinet. Now this cabinet I had gotten several years ago. I'm not even sure if I paid anything for it. Sometimes people just give me things that they don't want anymore. If I did pay anything for it, it wasn't much, but most of the glass was broken out, all but one piece, and it was a pretty cabinet. It is a pretty cabinet, but it just needs a little bit of help. So I'll be showing you what I did with it. But before getting into that, I wanted to show you the last t-shirt design that I have from my new product line. But this is one of my favorite scriptures, and I had showed you guys one that was more of a kind of a light green or gray color a while back. This is the same design, a same scripture. It is just in pink and it's really nice and soft. I love the feel of it. I also like the color, but if you're at all interested in purchasing one, make sure to check out the Peddler's website. That is the only place that you can buy them unless you're in Holmes County here in our area. They do have them in their store. Speaking of which, I will be doing a meet and greet coming up very soon here, Friday and Saturday, and I'm really excited to meet some of you. Uh, to see more information, make sure to check out the link in my description box. So let's get right into redoing the cabinet. I'm opting to go with some wooden side panels for the cabinet. So here I am cutting some plywood pieces and I have my niece MB helping me. It's always easier with a large piece like this to have, you know, two people kind of guiding the wood. I will be using my air sprayer to apply the paint. In case you're looking for an air sprayer like this, I will link it down below. It's from Amazon. I absolutely love it. Uh, DeWalt brand. And the paint I'll be using today is my go-to paint, Do It Best brand. And it's a satin sheen. It is a grayish white color. It looks white to the eye unless you compare it to a stark white. It looks very light gray. Uh, such a pretty color. I use it a lot.
kind of worried about the dark clouds coming up in the west here. I may just wheel my piece of furniture inside just in case. These wooden panels that I made for the cabinet sides are fairly rough, uh, especially the one side. So I'm going to quickly go over them with some sandpaper and then whatever is on the outside, I'll try to turn it like the nicest part is on the outside. I'm going to just give another coat of paint and I'm actually here the next day, um, cleaned up my sprayer yesterday and I don't really want to use it for just these two pieces so I'll just brush it on. I really like Annie Sloan Clear Wax. Um, it does such a good job of protecting you know, paint. Uh, you don't have to just use it over chalk paint. You can actually use it over any paint. Um, in this case, I'll probably just apply it to the, the shelf, uh, not the bottom of the shelf, just the top where the wear and tear would be, and then over the entire cabinet. I'm sure there's probably better ways of doing this, fastening these panels, but right now I just don't really have anything on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put these little pieces of wood over the corners, um, just to you know, hold it in place. Uh, it won't go anywhere, especially once the shelves are in here. As I'm editing this, I have to smile a little as I'm watching myself try to put these shelves in. I actually look a little simple, not being able to figure it out, but put them all in and then kind of start at the top to fit them in their designated spots. I'm going for a shabby chic look for this cabinet and I found this pretty lace at Zinc's Fabric Outlet. I'll put their link down below in the description box in case you want to check them out. They do sell some of their fabric uh, online and they have really good prices. I'm just cutting these panels to fit into the frame and making them about twice as wide as what the opening is. The only thing I'm sewing on them is just a little rod pocket which I'm actually using string instead of an actual rod.
I wonder what you guys think of my lace door panels. Uh, gotta say it was different for me to use fabric like that, but I kind of like it. And it's something that could always be changed later on, you know, should someone want, you know, just glass in there or something else. Um, I think even some of that old tin would look kind of good um, in that frame. But for now, it's going to be a lace, and I'll probably end up selling it that way. I imagine that cabinet will end up in my booth at Walnut Creek eventually. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.